We got a heavy one today. Hey everybody, welcome back to Cinematically Late, the series where I talk about movies that I may have missed for whatever reason, whether in theaters, on Netflix. You name it, I'm gonna talk about it. There's no rules in this. So today we are talking about a movie that was recommended to me by one of my Instagram followers. Um, he recommended this movie here called One Day We'll Talk About Today. Kind of an interesting name, but it's actually kind of weird because uh, at least in English, because of the way it is said in its native language, which is Indonesia. So this is actually an Indonesian film uh, about a family that is very much trying to stay together, but are kind of hiding things a lot from each other and have very unique relationships. I didn't really know about this movie whatsoever, but I thought I would give it a try and see what it was all about. Now, for all of those who want to say that this movie has subtitles, Honestly, it's not that bad. This movie is very much chill. There's not like big visuals that you need to see uh, in order to miss the subtitles or anything like that. But I highly recommend checking it out regardless. So this movie is about this family, kind of goes through a couple different variations where the children are younger as well as when the children are older. So the kind of duality of time is very fun and interesting. I like that a lot, but it's very much a drama. Um, there is a little bit of comedy aspect to it, not really, but I did like the family aspect to it. Uh, it's not really a family movie, definitely more drama, but the fact that it showed this family not only through time, uh, once or twice, but there are different actors for the youngers versus the olders. They didn't go the route of the boy something, boyhood, where the same actors did it for like 12 years um, in different filming points. It wasn't like that. But this movie is definitely worth checking out. Now, the drama that this family experiences is very personal and it does feel very grounded in reality. I feel like whoever wrote this movie did maybe have a lot of the experiences that um, are shown in the movie. It makes a lot of sense, especially if you maybe have gone through it yourself. But there are some sort of more sensitive, I guess, subject matters regarding family and secrets that I think are a little bit more relevant in terms of what you may want to see in this movie. So the themes of this movie are probably what draws me most to it. That's probably gonna be my number one thing that I liked about it are the themes because some of them do hit home. If you are out there and you uh, have any children, it will hit home for you more for the dad. Uh, if you have kind of a good relationship or even a bad relationship with your parents, it'll you'll probably more identify with the children in terms of like how they interpret and want to sort of be there for their parents but also want to live their own lives. If there's this duality in terms of how they are struggling with who they want to be and who they're expected to be. So I like that a lot about this movie is that I felt like it showed a lot of realism to it even though you obviously know it's a movie and that's where I kind of got the impression that it was drawn upon from actual experiences from whether it be the actors, uh, the writers, whoever it may be, uh, it felt like they were definitely experiencing this in some point in their lives or something similar maybe. The acting number point number two is one of the best. I feel like that I'm not very familiar with any of these actors because uh, it's from Indonesia. I'm very unfamiliar with a lot of the actors, the culture there. But in terms of acting, everyone did awesome job. Um, I think the dad was probably one of the toughest ones because he does have to be that leadership role. Uh, the mom, I think, was really tough, though, because she's very subdued and quiet almost the entire time. She does a really good job in terms of portraying the struggles of wanting to be strong for her family but not cause a lot of problems. The uh, two sisters and the brother, that's where we mainly get our focus from in terms of the story and what's happening. Um, all of them have interesting aspects to them. I feel like this the youngest sibling, which is the most protected and the one that's constantly most talked about in the movie, um, I feel like a, it was good, but I feel like we could have used a little bit more of the other siblings, especially the older sibling girl. Um, I'm not going to say any of their names because I'm going to butcher all of them, but I felt like her aspect, that she has a really good uh, moment in an art gallery in which she kind of has to stand up for herself and um, something surrounding that, that I felt like was probably her best moment. The brother, I think, was very dramatic when it came to the, the big reveal of the movie, which I didn't really feel like it was a big reveal. If you are paying attention, it is pretty obvious, I think, at times. The story and the way these characters interact with one another is probably 
the number one sell. Um, not just the actors, which is point number two, but going to number three, which is just the pure chemistry. I feel like the chemistry of these actors was top notch. They felt like an actual family. Um, I don't know if that's kudos to the writing. I don't know if that's kudos to the actors, but just in general, the chemistry for everyone to be able to work together the way that they did in order to pull off this very realistic, uh, at least in my mind, concept of how a family works, having to sort of keep secrets, but sort of be there for one another and having to fulfill that family duty in some way or another, uh, whether it be taking care of your siblings, taking care of your parents, um, having to live your own life, how you sort of have to balance how you want to be versus who you're expected to be, like I said earlier. All of that stuff is very relevant and they pull it off tremendously. Highly recommend just on that aspect alone, the chemistry is phenomenal. Um, but yeah, one day we'll talk about today. It does have some sensitive subjects, I think, um, if you're a family person and are big on family, it might hit a little bit home even though you may not identify with some of what's going on. It's still definitely a, a very impactful and very well acted movie that I recommend checking out. It is available on Netflix in the US um, as of late June or late, excuse me, um, May, but I don't know as to where it's available worldwide. But make sure you check out your Netflix to see if it's available or maybe other services it could be. Uh, if you have seen One Day We'll Talk About Today, make sure you let me know your thoughts and opinions down in the comment section down below. Uh, make sure you're subscribed as I do have a new cinematic late every single Thursday. Also make sure you're subscribed as I am doing a giveaway for my 300 subscribers. I am not there yet, but I'm hoping to be there by the end of the year, in which case I am doing a giveaway. You can check it out up here in the corner where I talk about I'm going to be giving away a gift card for a website where you can purchase movies similar to, although not actually one day we'll talk about today, but movies similar to it. Maybe some of your favorites are available that you can watch on your mobile devices, Vudu, uh, iTunes, movies anywhere, things like that. So make sure you check out that video as well as the other video where I talk about the website where you can purchase these movies if you want to get a step ahead. Also leave that video up in the corner. Uh, also make sure you subscribe because I have new videos all the time. I have my U Season 1 review, my U Season 2 review, my Umbrella Academy Season 1 review, uh, my Superman Man of Tomorrow trailer review. Um, reviews galore, so make sure you guys are subscribed for that. Uh, really other than that, those are all of my thoughts on one day we'll talk about today. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I hope to see you in the next one.